Oh, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Right, we are very lucky to be joined by somebody that has been here before. We are joined by Mike Hurst from Reds. Mike, thank you for coming in again no today. No problem. Thank you for inviting me. So would you say you're mainly a retailer? Do you do balloon decor? Are you a bit of both? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess essentially we are a retailer. Um, we have a shop, but we do do big decor as well. Um, yeah. You can see our Facebook page. We do we do big i like big yeah um three foot balloons big arches yeah um yeah it's that's the stuff that i get a lot of joy out of doing i like your quick link arch you did in morrison's oh, by yes, the way yes that was yes. very fancy different size quick links yes stuff. yeah very, very good design that um yeah. that was learnt from keith and dom on one of their courses how was it okay. so yeah if you get the chance to do that yeah go, go do that yeah no that was great um so you, you're a retailer you say you're a retailer just from your perspective you hear a lot that oh the high street's dead or we can't compete with card factory and, and things like that what's what's your take on that at the, at the end of the day i sell a good product at a good price um i don't really care what card factory do yeah um if someone's interested about price and they want the cheapest that's fine that's fine by me they can go um they'll be back because yeah. generally the balloons don't last yeah we've had to rescue so many people from bad balloons and bad inflation. All oh, right. Um, in particular, we had a wedding not too long ago. They bought all the balloons themselves, bought a tank of he helium, inflated it the night before, took it to the venue, went there in the morning, they were all flat on the floor. Yeah. And that's where we came in. And yeah. they've been a customer of ours ever since. Sell a good product, yeah. offer the service, and, yeah. and, and people. If you're using the premium twin sizer, I'll give you the timings I'm doing. So I'm doing 0 0.6 for the bottom layer. <laughs> So, you can just tie these up. How'd you find that? I love it. Best, best investment ever. It was either take someone else on in the shop or yeah. buy a machine. So I bought a machine. Yeah. Doesn't answer back. <laughs> Don't need to feed it. Plus it's cheaper. Yeah. Ultimately. Yeah. That's, that's what Rachel thought when she got the uh, Precision Air. Yeah. It was just, it's like having another person. Exactly, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's changed. It's, these designs, we, we're used to doing them with a hand pump. Um, I'd be there, it'd take twice the time to yeah. do it. Yeah. Having this in front of the customer, again, it's all part of the show. Yeah. They love seeing them inflate. Quite a lot of times as well, if, if they've got young kids that are running around the shop doing me head in, yeah. I'll invite them round to the counter and they'll press the <laughs> press stand on the thing for me. So it's... Yeah, yeah, it's that's about, it, It's that experience with the customer as well. Yeah. Um, it's just trying to find these little things to make them come back to yeah. me. So yeah. if I'm... To involving, involving them in the yeah, process. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. So your next layer, we're going to go at 0 0.4. If I can get the balloon on. Nope. What are you doing there when you squeeze? Is that because you need to make sure all the air's out? No, because I messed that up. I took my nozzle off. No, I know, but when I'm, just, you, when I'm just starting again. Starting again, so yeah. but you're making sure the air I'll is all I'm making sure there's no air, yeah, because yeah. if, if, if I go with a bit of air in it, it's going to be, gonna... it's not going to be the same size, yeah. So again, these are all the things that can happen in the shop. Your nozzles come off and... <laughs> just, That's real life, it doesn't matter. Just make a joke out of it. I even like the way you're holding that, yeah, that I, don't, I, there. I don't like putting them down because my, my workbench will make a lot of sand weights. So yeah. I've quite often got sand splattered all over the place. But it just looks more professional and as well. Yeah. It's a bit of flair, yeah. isn't it? I found as well, when I was putting the balloons down, there's sand getting transferred onto them. And I, when I'm twisting them, yeah. they're rubbing and they're popping. Yeah. So I'll, I, yeah, I don't like to let go of them now. That's great. I like it. So again, this is a cluster five. We'll just flatten that out. Same technique that you do. So we'll just take the, the bottom nozzle. Yeah. So a lot of people do, um, they'll do like a little twist around yeah, it. Yeah. Some people figure rate it. I personally like to take it down, wrap it round, turn it and okay. unlock it. So I, I don't like to, to spin it too much because again, you, you're putting some strain on the balloon. Yeah. yeah. So, so just taking it around once and then a single balloon gives it a really nice hold. So for the, the top layer, we're going with four balloons and I'm knocking it down to 0 0.3. So we're just going with the quad, but with this one, because we're going with a smaller balloon, balloon, I'm putting the nozzle more into the 
the top of the balloon. Okay. So just because it's, it's more round yeah. and shiny as well. And again, I'm just going to take the nozzle from the previous row, so the yep. blue ones. So I'm just going to push the top one down, pull the nozzle up, take it round, basically halfway. Yeah. That's done. That's locked in. Perfect. So the numbers now, they're going to become the, the fifth balloon on the top. So I see when we put them yeah. on in the space, we've got a nice gap here. Yeah. That's going to fit into there, and then we're going to have the, the numbers. So okay. what we're going to do, we're going to take a... That will do. So again, squeeze the air out. I'm going to tie a knot. Yeah. Do you know how to tie knots? All right. All right. There's no need for that. You just stood on that again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got away with that one. In case you're not aware, I'm not very good at tying knots. I know. That's why I don't do it very often. And it shows that I watch the show. And it shows that, <laughs> yeah, Mike watches the show, yeah. <laughs> Get nice. Yeah, I made a right mess out of 260Q. <laughs> so with this one, because I've done it back, normally I would have done it on the three, because um, I wasn't paying attention. I've done it on the five, but it, do it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to stretch it. So this is the gap we're going in. So I'm going to come in from the side of it. Yeah. So we get a nice close connection. Again, I'm just going to cross the two sixes over at the back. Take it around one, lock it in. Take it around one. So you don't even in. tie that in a knot? No, I know it's strong enough. Yeah. And then, um, <clears throat> so your five is now your fifth balloon. Just get it in a nice little position. So you can just play around with so that until a, you're happy. Yeah, and, so, and what I'll do as well, I'll explain to the customer, if they're going to take it home in a bag, it's going to be all messed up and out yeah, the way. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll show them how to put it back into position. Okay. Okay, so obviously they've got the neck, they, they can be quite sticky. Yeah. Um, to get the to open the neck out, I'm going to open this one with a trigger valve. Okay. Um, normally in my shop, and like I said, I would be doing this on my duplicator too. Okay. So I can get that pressure so that all, everything can inflate evenly. Yeah. You can run the risk of one side inflating more than the other. I haven't noticed that yet. Okay. Um, I have heard though. Somebody else told me that if you just keep on inflating it, it will sort itself it out. I think it should eventually so, okay. equalize. But yeah, like, like I say, I, I do it on um, my duplicator. It's the equivalent to three. Latex balloons. Okay. So two eleven inches. So with so, a duplicator, obviously you don't need a sizer to do that. No. So yes, yeah, so obviously we've got the sizer here today. Okay. So we're going to run through that. Yes. Okay. Let's do that then. So this is not a sizer to purchase. This no, is, this is not. This, this is, is a Mike Hurst special, this is, isn't um, it? This is something I've knocked up. Um, you've so designed. Is, you've not knocked. It's not knocked up. It's designed. <laughs> yeah, heavily designed. Lots of <laughs> lots of thought process um, in our local DIY shop. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically it's just some standard PVC tubing. Yeah. Um, this is threaded steel rod. Mm -hmm. And then I've got these attachments. These go with the the, um, the conduit. Yeah. Um, and it's basically, it's just screwed and bolted mm -hmm. inside here. Yeah. Fits perfectly. And then a bit of electrical um, heat shrink. Mm -hmm. So it's a big sleeve that you put on, heat gun over it. Yeah. And it just shrinks nice and just neatens it because this is all threaded. Yeah. Um, oh, it's right, see, it's yeah. rough on the hands yeah. as well. But you see, I got the threaded ones purely so I could put the, the screw in the bottom. The bolt. The in bolt. The end. Yeah. But it works well. And it, it all separates down into a nice little package and just keep it in the car more than yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm ever out on site and I need to inflate anything, I don't take the big yellow sizer anymore. Mm -hmm. I have this. Yeah. And then you just measure whatever size you want. Yes. Yeah. So I've, I've marked on here as well my standard sizes. Yeah. yeah. Um, goes all the way up to 32 inch. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Look at that. That's brilliant. So okay. Yeah. Let's, let's inflate one. Okay. So like I said, I'm going in with the trigger valve on this. Now you might see that this looks pink. You're going to find out exactly why it looks pink as Mike inflates. Yeah, it has this protective covering over. We were going to give it. We were. Oh, <laughs> he's just given it away, hasn't he? It's got a protective cover on it. Okay. So I'm good. I'm just going to start inflating until the cover starts peeling away. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to move it. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gripping the neck, keeping the air inside still. I'm just going to take this down. Watch your fingers on it as well. Mine are really clammy today, so it's going to get marks all over it. Yeah. 
That's the bad thing about it being so clear. You will see yeah. marks quite easily. So I'm just going to use I'm going to use the seam on the outside to line up with my marks, so I don't need to be yeah. looking and diving all the way through. So I can see through it. I can see that I'm touching here. There you and go. That's it. So it is a very stretchy yeah. plastic. So you, your cover is, is, is all the way down the neck as well. Okay. So you want to re remove it while still yeah. keeping hold. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just give it a little, little spin. So now you can either tie it off with a, a scrap 260 like you would have yeah, uh, yeah. a clear bubble. Um, you can heat seal them. Yes. It works to heat seal. Yeah. Or you can just put a regular knot in it because I've, I've tried one of these and I, I mean I, I struggle at the best of times with a latex balloon yeah. tying a knot in it so I found it quite difficult but you just did that very very easily that this is the, the technique I use for tying my five inches so yeah. I, I kind of I wrap it around my two fingers and yeah yeah it's really hard to explain okay yeah <laughs> well you, you've just shown us we can you know that's that's, that's absolutely I've, I've spent weeks trying to teach our lad in the shop how to do it yeah. and I just get frustrated with myself and him <laughs> and everyone so I said to Jane right it's your turn you yeah. can do it so what we're going to do is confetti fill the you're going to blow up that by mouth no you are oh are I? okay all right look forward <laughs> to that um so what, I've, what I'm going to do I'm just going to roll the neck back a little bit and then get our Balloon neck stretching tool. Specialist balloon neck stretching tool. Not used for any other reasons. No, absolutely not. And all I've got is just some standard pink, uh, what is it? 25 mil 25 confetti. mil confetti, paper confetti. Yep. Do you want me to, to assist in any way? Uh, yeah, have you got a pump handy? A pump? An inflator. A hand pump, an electric uh, pump? An electric one will do. It's funny you should say that. It's one I prepared earlier. Lovely. There you go, look at that. Okay, so if you want to take that department. Okay. This can be done by one person, but it's just it's nice to get you to How work. How much do you want me to? Yeah, it is. How much should I put uh, in? So just, yeah, so do you want, you to want to get break like... Break it up a bit. No, it doesn't need to break wood. The air's going to break it up. Oh, okay, all right. So just shove so it in. Little wedges. That's it. So it's tight. One more lot of that. Okay. So you say the air is going to break all this up? Yeah. Okay, I look forward it's to it. to release it. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's enough in there. <clears throat> so we also need an attachment point in here. So I'm not going to inflate all the way to the end. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just pinch the end. Yeah. About half an inch. Yeah. Are you done with this? Yes, thank you. Okay, I'll well, move that out of the way. You know, I'm thinking that's going to be quite tall. I, I think we might need this stool. Okay. So I'm just going to bend it back into a straightened position. Okay. Because you always get a bit of a kink in it. So I've just got a normal inflation. I'm just going to spread this out as much as I can. And then the static rubbing on here is going to generate and hold the it's getting a bit close there, Mike. To my face. Think health, think safety. That's a good tip. If you to rub it in your hair. Oh, I don't yeah, suppose you'd know about that, <laughs> would you? Rub it in my beard. Sorry, I couldn't resist. And this will hold for Generally, on display in the shop, it looks good for about three or four days. Oh, really? So, Just from the static? Yeah. It's yeah. It does stay. So, as you can see, I'm moving it around yeah. where I want the static to be. So, I'll, make, I'll find like a little cluster and then they'll stick in place from it. So, there's a bit of a gap here. So, I could do with a couple in this area here. Knock a couple It off. sticks so well, you can't knock it off. That looks good. That's those loose ones. Get those in there. There we go. These were behind us in the old shop, um, so everything was always at hand. But now having the whole lot together, 
Yeah. It just makes my process of getting a, an order out quicker. Yeah. I think sometimes people don't think about processes yeah. when they're doing it. Uh, and something I've always really liked, I'm a big yeah. fan of processes yeah. making it easier because as we've always said, time is money. Yeah. And yeah. you know, you've got to account for your time. And if your time involves walking from here over there to grab a balloon to come back and yeah. then inflate it, if it's there, it just it's saves you exactly. seconds, yeah. but that, that adds up. Yeah, those, those seconds are massive in the grand scheme of things. So these jars, yeah. these are slightly different. Uh, those are just uh, sweet shop jars, just off eBay. Yeah. Um, they're dirt cheap. Um, every now and again, I have to buy a few more because we add more products. They just look so neat. I yeah. see some of them have latex balloons on top. Yeah, so they, cause they've, they've got a flat side um, and in the shop they would sit out like that. Um, I still might have them again. I would see a lot of them. That's probably about two or three years old. All right, okay. <laughs> and it it's just, had a good life. It needs, it needs changing. Um, but yes. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, that makes really it easier, change, yeah, easier for customers, them, but, but you don't need Also to. as well, I found when you've got the latex over the lid, so not for the 100, as the latex folds under the lid there, it forms a really tight seal. There's right. no oxygen getting in there. Yeah, There's nothing, yeah. it's... That's great. It, it preserves the life of the balloon, I've noticed. Yeah. So obviously those ones are covered, there's nothing there. Yeah. And then that, yeah, definitely helps. No, I love it. Now I see something else that you've got here yeah. that people normally use. It's a, it's a knot stand, a yes. knot lamp. Yeah. And you've used it for something completely I, I just like using knot lamps in everything, anywhere, really. <laughs> um, then, yeah, it's not just a balloon stand for me. So yeah. yeah, just, yeah. So you've just taken a few sections or a couple yeah, of sections. Yeah, so you've got uh, two sections at two, might be three. Maybe three. Three sections. Um, just some cheapy hooks from Wicks. This is all, it's all very rough. It all needs painting still, but but still the idea is there, and then yeah. it's just proper. And even if you were working from home and you had a space to do your work, yeah. this this would just yeah. save so much time. And even the little bits on the end, um, it's an M14 nut. If I'm M14. Right. Yeah. M14. It's nut. not it's not there the best fitting, but it's the closest I've found to to put a stopper on it because these ones the I need to order more, yeah. but they slide off. Yeah. I only found those last week. So they were an eBay job as well, because none of the none of B and Q or home base go up to M14. All right. They go to M10. So there you go, M14 nut to screw on your knot lamp. That's, that's, that's a good tip right there. Right, what else have we got here? Oh, look at your, your, your measuring for your, for your bouquets. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that, that came from initial um, in-house or in-store Qualitex training. That's yeah. something that they they sort of show you. Yeah, we see that in the fundamentals training yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah, so just having everything measured out, ready, so that I know that if I'm doing a stack of bunches of threes as much as I dislike them, if 10 of them are going out for tables, every single balloon is the, the correct height. Yeah. So when we first started, we'd, we'd tie each balloon on the ribbon, and then we'd get the weight, and then we'd be adjusting yeah, and doing yeah, this and this. Yeah, being there. Having, just having that, it's it's so simple. It and is such a simple technique. Yeah. When I first saw Mark training that at the fundamentals yeah. training, I was like, "Wow, this yeah. is this is so and clever." Then everything's color coded, so the green one is a, just a standard bunch, so they're set um, to do up to a, a um, bunch of five. Yeah, we've got a classic display, which is one of our most popular ones. It's three latex, two foils. Yeah, and they're um, seven inches apart. Yeah. Um, got the blue ones, which is a luxury or, or a layer. So two layers of three latex, then a bubble on top. Okay. Um, and then the, just the black single one is just for large foils. So yeah. if we're doing lots of number, single numbers, yeah. we know that they're all going to be the same height. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. See you next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.